we're out here today on Verhunga Savannah for a number of reasons. And of course, the first one is that there are a lot of potential trophies that we do not have in our lodge that I'd love to get off of this map. Namely, the Truax Kudu. We've got a Legacy Rack one in there that I really want to replace, and that's something I'd love to get done while we're out here. But also, there is a weapon that was once a console exclusive called the 44 Wildcat Revolver, which I really like. It's kind of similar to the 44 Gaucho, but it's one that we've never taken a diamond with. In fact, I don't think we've fired it since it became available on all platforms. So there are a lot of animals on Verhunga that we could take with that. Maybe we could get a diamond with it. I think that would be neat. And the last thing is, even though Verhunga is coming up on four years old, it remains to be one of my absolute favorite maps. So I wanted to get out here and go for a hunt. Now, one of the things we'll be dealing with as we're hunting the coast during Cape Buffalo drink time is probably a whole lot of this. Because they did the redistribution for Verhunga Savannah, pretty much all the Cape Buffalo drink along the coast, and you can find a ton of them as you hunt down along here near the water. And nice little gold there to start with as he was charging us, but you know, I'm always interested in looking for a rare Cape Buffalo, so while this multiplayer server has the time for it, I thought we'd run around and see what's out. I would call this a pretty good example of what you can expect to see in some spots with the Cape Buffalo. I also would not be shocked if we get charged by a couple of these guys, but I think we'll try to get the mythical. We actually do have the 22 LR today just for these occasions. I'm gonna try to hopefully alert him. That'll do a little bit better than the first shot. And if we can get him to turn broadside, we want to kind of go a little bit low with our shots, so we could attempt a heart shot as well. I think while he was presenting it, it was worth a try. That actually happened as well, although this time we did get a lung. When we shot at our last diamond, which was actually a Bighorn's Diamond Brown right after the uh, reset, we had a shot like that that was trying to go for the heart, and for some reason it just missed. Like, there was no visible indication that I could see as to why it would have missed, but I'm not sure if there's anything wrong with the hitbox. It may have just been a kind of freak scenario, because that worked just fine. It was left lung and stomach, actually. A little bit too low on that shot. At least it did get into the bottom of the lung. 144 gold is not too bad, and as expected, we do have one coming after us. So what I've found since the change, because it seems like there's something different about Cape Buffalo, it's almost as though they are a little tougher. It seems best to go for kind of like lower shots. Now that one, again, it didn't feel like that should have completely missed, but it also may have been just a little bit too far in front of him. So what we're trying to do is line up a shot where we can kind of let him run broadside. And then we can take that lower shot. High in the shoulder just does not seem to penetrate into the lungs. But down, I would say like halfway, the halfway point of the body and below seems to consistently get into a lung. So not the smoothest, but yet another gold with a brown bird type this time. As we're kind of moving along here, this is one of the species we actually could take with the 44 Wildcat. And probably with a couple of level fours here, we might as well try it and kind of see. Oh goodness, I did not... No, there were more down there. I'm so glad I just looked. I've had terrible experiences tracking Springbuck on this map. They just have a tendency to go and never stop. That's the smaller horns. It was a max of 111. Diamond is 110.6, I think. So much for getting a practice shot. I mean, I think if we can move into about 75, we should be good, but... I don't know, when so many animals take off like that, oh boy, I don't know why they're starting to move. Let's try to alert them and worry about that in a second. I want them to stand still, especially with a slower moving round like a handgun round. That will do just fine. So what I was about to say was, had we shot the fours, especially trying to get a quick follow up at that other four, it would have been very easy to, to never spot the five running off. Like I said, smaller horns, not a guarantee. I think that is the very first animal we've shot with a 44 Wildcat, and it might be something pretty special. Fingers crossed for that guy. Gold at 109.7. We are doing great at getting trolled lately. It's 110.7, uh, not 110.6 for diamond, but a little unfortunate. Hard shot him in everything. Happy with the shot at the very least. A little unfortunate he didn't make it, but 
I mean, still kind of setting off on the right track with the 44 Wildcat anyway. You know, one of the things that is so difficult about specifically looking for a rare female lion is that the, the rares outside of albino really are not all that obvious. A little bit of a difference in lighting, and you can be thinking that you're looking at a blonde or a dark brown, whereas in reality it's just a, a common that is kind of standing in that area where they look a little bit different. The dark brown that we have, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, we were calling it out of the brush for quite some time before I had any indication that maybe it looked a little bit different. And that's kind of where it gets tough. In single player, it's one thing, because eventually, we're bound to end up shooting it for one reason or another, but in multiplayer, once we leave this server, it's more or less gone forever. When something looks off, we kind of have to take the shot and go and see. Now, I would say this one looks common enough. It is a tan for type, which is one of the commons. But like I said, you kind of have to go for it and check it out. I know the blonde female that we shot, which was actually at this location, that one I recognized pretty quickly, but then again, it was perfectly out in the sunlight, a little bit in the shadows, and things aren't so obvious. Man, at this rate, we're going to get stuck chasing female lions for the rest of the hunt. I don't know if I'm just maybe wishful thinking, which happens on a fairly regular occasion, but it doesn't help comparing it to what I believe is a tan fur type male. That one looks really pale in comparison, so I don't know, maybe or maybe it's light brown. It's something that I definitely want to get. There's a couple of multi-mounts that we don't have completed, at least in terms of like what I'd like to do. We've got two rare female lions for the breadwinner multi-mount, which goes with a male lion and a male cape buffalo. And then we have another lion multi-mount, I think it's called royalty or something like that. One male lion and one female. We have a dark brown or a blonde mythical in there. We've shot both, I'm not sure which one's there at the moment, uh, but we do not have a rare female for that, so it's something I want to get, and definitely we need to figure out what's what, um, you know, in terms of judging them from a distance if we want to have the best odds of that. Gonna be honest, looking a little less like a blonde fur type as we get up to here. That's the tan again. The one thing that I was fairly certain of was that it wasn't going to be the exact same fur type, and it is, so... Yeah, like I said, definitely some kind of relearning to do before we really get into trying to look for them again. But then, you know, the other option is maybe we could just stumble into one because we're shooting them and hoping for the best. When I really think about it, it's kind of surprising we did get a Diamond True Axe as quickly as we did. Considering the lack of success that we've had with them since, it was only, I think, our second hunt. We went and hunted them once. Uh... I think we got a couple of decent fours in the next hunt. It was at this lake right here. We had a level five that just barely made diamond and they are littered across the coast, much like the Cape Buffalo. And even yet, we've not really had anything that's been that close since. So I'm hoping with this server being cutie drink time that maybe we can change that. I mean, there's plenty of cutie down here. We've seen a bunch. We've been running up along here. This is the first kind of decent one at 136, but we've gone all the way up through and that is the very first even level four. So. Hopefully the good ones are just waiting on us up ahead. Now that looks a little bit better, a max weight estimate for this time. So maybe we're moving in the right direction. I mean, like I said, lots of kudu out here, just kind of lacking on the bigger ones. So was that actually about 200 meters? I want to check that before we fire our shot. 245, so we'll probably stay up closer to the spine there. A little tough to see in the dark, but I would say that did the job. So 151 point something is diamond for them. That is a nice one. 149.6 is exactly two below the diamond arc, which would make him our second biggest one thus far. Just shy of 99 kg. That is interesting. When they had their legacy racks, there was a point where, I mean, just about every kudu above like 80 kg made diamond in the beginning. And then on the new system, a lot of times you'd have to go over 100 kg to have a chance. I would say in the 99 area, they, they must have at least a, a slight possibility, so that's kind of nice to see. Well, unfortunately, the idea of trying the spot where we killed our diamond in single player is not going to yield the same result. Seems like a level 3 male is the best we're going to get, and we actually are reaching the end of Kudu drink time. They stopped drinking around 2100. It is 2110, in fact, in game right now, so that is probably going to be our last kill of the hunt. and. Go figure, you know, it almost started off, or more or less started off, with a really nice kill. You know, I think it was the only time we fired the 44 Wildcat today. 
it's one of those things, and I think we got a diamond with the rest of the once console exclusive weapons, whether it's the 12 gauge gamekeeper or the 7mm empress, those are weapons that we got diamonds with, and I know it's always been a thing of when we try to get a diamond with every weapon, it's just caliber specific. When weapons have multiple variations, I usually don't try to get one with every single variation, but because these were exclusive, that's something I kind of want to do just because we never had access to them before, so that will be something to no doubt carry in our future loadouts, especially with the kind of wide variety of animals you can take. I believe it's classes 3 to 7 for the 44 ammo, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, 3 to 8, in fact. So lots of stuff that we could actually take with that, including Gemsbuck out here on Verhunga. I wouldn't have known that, uh, but now we know for our future hunts. But a 118 Silver Kudu to wrap up with. And no need to go back to the Trophy Lodge because our one max level animal did, in fact, troll us. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.